Today, I want to say a word or two about getting paid. And I want to mention the three main methods, starting with uh, my preferred method, which is the safest method, but it also costs a bit more to the second method and the third method, which is probably the cheapest, but is also the least safe. But let's get started. The first method, and in my opinion, the safest, the number one method that you should probably start off with is to use a website like Upwork.com. There are a couple of other ones, but the important thing is that the website uses escrow. If you have a website that can use escrow, then you're very safe. Anytime you see escrow, it's good. And always opt for escrow if it's available. In essence, this is how it works. If you get hired by someone that someone say, you know, hires you for a job for $100, right? That someone will pay the $100 into escrow and it'll be held by the website or by whatever third party while you work on your job. Then you, you finish your job, hand it in, and then it gets approved and then the money gets released and given to you. This way it's a lot safer because you know that the client can just receive the translation and run away because the client has already paid. I highly recommend anything with escrow service like Upwork.com. It works with escrow and it works great. Of course, it takes its percentage. You have to deal with that, but I think it's a very small price to pay. The second method is PayPal. Uh, under PayPal, I include stuff like Money Bookers and Skrill and stuff like that, but the main one is PayPal. First of all, if you can get PayPal, because most clients, especially international clients, they will prefer to use PayPal with you. It's the easiest way to send money internationally and it usually costs a lot less than, uh, than an international bank transfer. Of course, it does cost something, but it's pretty safe in that when you start off and if you're not sure about whatever client you're dealing with, you can ask for their PayPal information. They can't just disappear because what you can do is finish the job and invoice them through PayPal. If they want to contest it or you want to contest it, suddenly PayPal is involved as well, which brings another feature. It's definitely not as safe as a normal escrow service, but it's still something. This is probably what I've used most often in the past, with international clients especially, because they prefer it and, um, you know, and you have a track record and so it's easiest. And the third method, this is the cheapest one, but it's also the least safe, and that's a direct bank transfer. Now, I say it's the cheapest, but actually, that's if it's a bank transfer within the same country, then obviously it's the cheapest, although it can depend from country to country. Like in the States, you can't transfer from one bank to the other for free if it's not the same bank for some reason. That aside, it tends to be cheaper or free, but I actually avoid it, um, unless it's with clients that I've known for a long time, or that I'm trust and I, you know, I, I know where they are and they can't run away from me. Just because there's no way to keep track and you could finish a job and then they could disappear and, and that's the last, you know, it's very easy for them to block your email address. I'm not saying all providers are evil like this or anything along those lines, but when you first start out, you never know. So when you do deal with a direct bank transfer, always make sure you send an invoice or something along those lines first and preferably have them confirm that they received your invoice. Even if it's via email, you know, at least you have something tangible that shows that they confirm that they've not only received your work, but that they've received your invoice so they know they have to pay you. And that also gives it a date from when to start off. By the way, bank transfer, I'm including anything like sending a check, like a personal check, or even giving money in cash face to face because you have to deal with the same issues. So it's always better to send an email with an invoice so at least you have something in writing that you can trace and you can track. Uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted a preliminary kind of uh, introduction into getting paid as a freelancer because I've been asked a couple times. Those are the three main methods that I recommend. Once again, if you do business through Upwork, definitely use the escrow service. Anything that has escrow, use that. Otherwise, PayPal is great. If you can uh, get an account, definitely get an account for PayPal or Moneybookers or Skrill or any one of those. You'll find most clients uh, prefer PayPal. Otherwise, direct bank transfer. If you're translating from one language to the other, you might have contacts in different countries. Try to get a bank account in every country you can because you'll find that if you can get a domestic bank transfer in these countries, many times they'll prefer it. Last but not least, many people ask me what I prefer and what I like to use most. Now, as I've shown, each of these three methods has its pros and cons, its good points and bad points. The one I recommend to use is always 
the one that the client prefers. You never want to be in a situation where you're the ideal person for the client, but the client cannot pay you because you don't have PayPal or you, you need some other method of payment or something along those lines. It's happened a couple of times to me where I work with another translator and, or I'm about to, and then, but they say, oh, but you need to pay me by personal check, which you need to mail to my place in another country. I don't know, you know, sometimes they need me to add this much for VAT and depending on which country it goes through, do this, that, and the other. You want to make it as easy as possible for the client to pay you. You want to get paid. Basically, whatever the client prefers, that's usually what I go for. Obviously, I want to make sure that I can get paid, but if they prefer PayPal, I'm fine with PayPal. If they want Upwork or some other type of escrow, perfect. If they want bank transfer, I'll do that too, but I, I, I'll obviously find a way to keep track of them and make sure they actually do pay me. That's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful. If you have other payment methods that you prefer or you think I should talk more about, definitely let me know and I'll be happy to do so. Otherwise, if you want more tips and uh, tricks in terms of translation, in terms of freelancing in general and living a freelance lifestyle, then definitely subscribe and you'll be getting more of these videos. If you found this useful, please click like because that always helps me out and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Sabedum. So, 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 so.